Welcome in to Layton Christian High School for KSL Sports Rewind's Game of the Week. We've got a doozy coming up for you as the Layton Christian Academy Eagles prepare to host the Real Salt Lake Griffins. Thank you for joining us, everyone. My name is Dane Stewart. You talk about two programs that, uh, well, one of them relatively new on the scene in Real Salt Lake under Coach David Evans. They've got a plethora of talent coming in tonight. And then what has really been... One of the pinnacle programs in the state of Utah, albeit in lower classifications, in the Layton Christian Eagles. Coach Bobby Porter in his last year here as the head man of the Eagles. This is a program, if my count is right, six state championships in program history. And how about this, 17 region titles. And uh, it's littered with talent as well. You look at a guy like Solomon Barrow, the senior 6'7", a lot of length there. Be interesting to see him. We saw him in the top 50 this summer. Can't wait to see him go up against this Real Salt Lake Academy squad. Coach David Evans, his third year there, says, look, we thought it'd take us about five years to get this thing built. Said year three, we are really pleased with where this is at. It is a program that is focused on player development, getting kids to that next level, preparing them for college. They've got a couple D1 kids on the floor, including number 23, the 6'4 junior, David Katoa, verbal to the University of Utah. And then you talk about Trey Evans. He's one of the top young point guards uh, in the state, in the country as well. And a youngster to keep an eye on, the sophomore, number 32, J.J. Mandiquit. He's a finalist for Team USA. He's in the starting lineup tonight for Real Salt Lake. And uh, look, it's why we're here. There's a lot of kids that have the opportunity to play at the next level. Elite athleticism and talent on the floor as we prepare to tip it off. Leighton Christian in the home white uniforms, Real Salt Lake in the road, black and gold. As uh, we get ready here from the beautiful gym at Leighton Christian Academy. Getting the clock squared away here before we tip off. And it will be Lyman Simmons, a newcomer to Real Salt Lake, in the circle to go up against Barrow. Monday night special underway as that tip controlled by Leighton Christian. This is Tyrese Lacey. He had a great opening game for the Eagles as they work near side. Otavio Armani tries to send that out. And that deflected, out of play will stay here. That was out of play quickly. Do it again here. Want to let you know the clock you see on your screen, unofficial. We do our best to keep that synced with the official clock here on the scoreboard in the gym. Oh, that lane opened up. Drive just left it short. Might have been deflected late. On the take there by Armani and Real Salt Lake coming up the other way. This is Junior County, the freshman, giving that over to the aforementioned man to quit. And now up top, Evans works around to country again. Junior here backing it out. And we've got a whistle that lost out of play. It will go to Leighton Christian. County, just a freshman. You talk about this roster for Coach Evans. Youth on the roster. Obviously experienced Trey Evans, a senior. But, man, they got a lot of sophomores, some freshmen. It is a talented group and a program that's got a lot of youngsters in it for Coach David Evans. Lacey across the timeline. As he's looking to drive a whistle here. We'll stop and we'll have our first foul of the contest. This is going to be called, I believe, on Mandiquit. Be the first personal on JJ. Barrow off the inbound. Trying to work the block there. Kicks out three on the way. That shot just short on the attempt from Otavio. And Real Salt Lake coming up the floor here with Trey Evans. Back up top with Trey. Now worked around. Katoa. Simmons trying to establish positioning in the block there. Lyman trying to spin around. Barrow doing a nice job on him defensively. Up top with JJ. Man to quit. Help coming over. Able to get the outlet inside to Simmons. Simmons to the rim. And the first points of the contest going the way of Lyman Simmons. 
up the other way, and that laid in quickly by Timmy as it's two apiece, and we've got an early timeout. Timeout taken, 2-2. Two -two. You're watching KSL Sports Rewind's Game of the Week. Other universities didn't fit into my life. They said I'd have to quit my job to go to school. They said it would take me four years to graduate. They said I have to take tests when they tell me to. They said my degree would cost a fortune. But I didn't have to listen to them. Because I have a university that listens to me. Tests on your time. Courses on your time. Graduate on your time. WGU, the University of You. Welcome back here to Leighton Christian Academy. Pressure being shown here by Leighton Christian. That one into the backcourt, rule deflected. Real Salt Lake keeping it. Simmons coming off the screen. They'll come over. Evans now near side with country back up top. Trey trying to get that inside, deflected. Good defense there by Lacey. Running up the floor, and it's blocked away by Katoa. The second attempt wouldn't go, and Simmons with the clear. Extra pass to the corner. Junior for three off the back of the rim. Lacey wanted to get out running, kept here by Simmons. Inside, left alone, and the easy bucket there for RSL. Nice job there by Junior Country and a good find. Baseline drive, help coming over. Oh, good fake there by Barrow. He drives to the rim and draws the foul. Solomain with a nice take there, drawing the foul. He'll head to the line here to shoot two. That foul, I believe, called on country. This first free throw here for Solomon. Boy, this gym got quiet in a hurry. I, tell you, I, I think we had the football team below us. They were here for the JV game, and uh, boy, they, uh, they were cheering the entire time. It was awesome, the atmosphere that we had here. and It's still a pretty good crowd. Saw Coach Stowers before the game. And uh, asked him about the rings. He said they're on the way. Leighton Christian winning their first ever state championship in football. As Barrow goes one for two on the trip. And it's a one-point contest. Country giving it back to Trey. Oh, and it's blocked by Solomain. Leading pass, too much behind it, was looking for the snack bar there as it will head out, be Real Salt Lake basketball. Coach Porter saying, hey, it's okay, slow it down. Take our time. Coach Bobby Porter, what a job. Saw him at the top 50, and I said, Coach, I heard a nasty rumor. Heard this is your last year, and he's like, yeah, it is. Going to retire. How about inside there to Simmons? Lyman once again, and count it. The and one here for Lyman Simmons. He'll head to the line. We'll get back to Coach Porter here in a bit. But uh, that's not the first time Lyman's been able to create space in the paint, lane to the rim. And, uh, boy, Coach Evans says he has been an absolute great add. And Lyman Simmons, hey, that's a that's an experienced move for you right there. That's, that's like a hard count in football. Kind of gave the little hesitation there and knew he had kind of the free shot, able to hit it 7-3 here, the score. But Lyman was a state champion at Snow Canyon last year. Coming up here to Real Salt Lake, and boy, Coach Evans has loved what he has brought, even just in uh, not being there real long. Here's Barrow in the paint. Tough fadeaway for Solomain. And you want to talk about development. That's what the Utah Top 50 will do for you. We saw his confidence grow as he went up against guys like Lyman Simmons over the summer. That three off the mark. And it's tapped out to Tyrese Lacey. Here come the Eagles, and we've got a carry. Boy, not a common call, albeit probably the right one. It'll go back here to RSL. Evans trying to shake the help. They get it inside to Simmons again. Collapsed down, and Lyman walked with it. Traveling violation. It heads back to Leighton Christian. 
substitutions here. J.J. Apathjane comes on for Real Salt Lake. Meanwhile, Timmy coming back on the floor here for Leighton Christian. They're also trying to get uh, Philip Popovich on, and they do get him on here. Boy, tough drive off the window. Good take. How about the aggressive nature there of Isaac Cubero, the senior? And the other way. Finished inside there by J.J. Mandiquit to give the lead back here to the Griffins. Up top. Baseline Cabrera will send back up top here with Lacey. Tyrese, a little floater in the lane, won't go. Simmons the clear, taken away. Boy, good hands there by Otavio. And then Lacey able to hit the three and Leighton Christian taking their first lead of the night. And coming off the steal, inside Simmons, looking to turn around. And he draws the contact. Lyman Simmons will head back to the line here to shoot a pair. Stephen Osei preparing to come on here for Real Salt Lake. Simmons, boy, I tell you what, you talk about top 50. This young man felt like a good opportunity for him to come up, go up against some premier bigs, and you see his... His growth is, my goodness, like he has been aggressive tonight. I think about him at Snow Canyon last year, and I don't I don't want to say he wasn't aggressive, but felt very accustomed to shooting the three and playing kind of away from the rim. He's been at the rim time and time again here in this first quarter as he goes one for two on the trip. That ball tapped out. It'll go to Leighton Christian. But, boy, you see Lyman Simmons getting to the paint, being aggressive. Love to see that from the big here for Real Salt Lake. Ah, uh, looking up the floor off the inbound. How about the recognition and then take it away. Otavio's been all over, gets it back. That shot may have been deflected. And Timmy trying to get rid of it. And we've got a whistle here. As 12-10 our score. We had a little scoreboard glitch there. Our apologies, it'll go here to the Griffins. Here comes Mandiquit. I've loved the pressure we've seen from Leighton Christian Academy. In the corner, sent out. Here's JJ. Over with Katoa. Katoa handing off. Apathjang. Ah, nice pump fake. Gets it to David. Katoa hitting the three for RSL. Other end, Cabero drawing the contact. He'll head to the line here for Leighton Christian. As you see, Isaac, the 6'2 senior, being aggressive offensively for the Eagles. Two free throws coming up here as the foul called there on Apath Jang. First for JJ. I was talking with JJ before, or was talking with Coach Evans about JJ before the game. He said, you know, Apath Jang in the top 50 really. He said, we like to kind of keep more reins on him. He was given uh, a little bit more space there and still trying to play into some of that freedom a little bit in the top 50. But, uh, boy, he's really liked what he's seen from J.J. And again, he picked up the foul there for RSL. Just a youngster, just a sophomore. There's a lot of development. But you see his game and what he brings. There are games in that top 50 where you could see him lock in from perimeter. He's certainly got a good ceiling to his game, and there's no one better to help teach that than Coach David Evans. One for two on the trip there is Leighton Christian tying it up 13 apiece. Apajang sending that to the corner. What a pass as that three won't go, and we're going to get a loose ball foul here called on RSL. Coach Evans was asking for a little clarification there. Ose picking it up. Inside of two to go here in this first quarter. 13 apiece, RSL and Leighton Christian. Oh, 
Boy, a trio of defenders there. And the Eagles able to deal with it. And Tyrese, the floater there, left it short. RSL now on the run. Here's Katoa, pull up three. David Katoa, no, excuse me, that was J.J. Mandiquit for three. I got the numbers re reversed in my mind. That is the sophomore Mandiquit with the transition tray. Tyrese off the glass of the other way on the other end of the floor. And now, boy, we've got a... Delay a game warning there, the call on Leighton Christian. As 16-15 lead here, and a substitution as Lacey will come off, and it will be a Tesh 6-2 senior coming on here for Leighton Christian. <laughs> JJ, that one bounced up high. They'll say it'll stay here. For RSL, last touch there by the Eagles. Here's Evans. Man to quit. Looking baseline, dribbled it out off his foot and turns it over. Late in Christian basketball as David Katoa coming back on the floor here for RSL. Trey Evans will catch a breather. That one taken away. Apajang in the open floor. Well, I say open floor. That was closed down upon. And he draws the contact here. JJ Apajang will head to the line. No. I thought it was on the shot. It was not. We do have shot clocks here. Leighton Christian, of course, those just for show in this matchup. And out of play. Mandiquit kind of got caught. Was trying to capture it. Just kind of overstepped it. And ended up having that palm come down out of bounds. We'll turn it over. 49 seconds left here in the first. Here's Cabrero. Atesh gets it out. Otavio. Armani pulling up. Blocked by O'Shea. And then lost it. Cabrero coming the other way. Shot clock's off here for the final 25 seconds in the lane. And score it. Timmy with the drive for Leighton Christian as they take the lead here late in the first. Boy, both these programs playing stifling D here in the first. JJ able to create some space. And Mandiquit hits the bucket. And with that, the first quarter expires. 18-17, RSL out in front on the road. You're watching KSL Sports Rewind's Game of the Week, presented by Heidemann Associates and brought to you by Western Governors University. Welcome back to Leighton Christian Academy. Start of the second quarter. Dane Stewart with you. Real Salt Lake and Leighton Christian. One-point game at the end of one. Back and forth first quarter. A lot of defense trying to pressure, create turnovers. We've seen that be effective really for both sides. But I've been impressed with uh, Leighton Christian has not felt like a team that is ill-equipped to deal with this talented RSL roster. Of course, Leighton Christian moving up to 4A this year, being independent in 4A and really excited for that. Is a nice entry there by Simmons, getting it to Katoa for the finish at the rim and a three-point lead here for RSL. Other way, Cabrero. Quickly scoring for Leighton Christian as it's back to one. Here's Apicheng on the drive with contact, no call. Barrow was there defensively. Lacey works inside, Otavio kicks out. Tyrese, pull up from 12, won't go. Man to quit. 
Boy, just had that ball sneak away from him late. Otherwise, would have had another opportunity for a step in three. Miscommunication there, and that taken away out of the air by Timmy. Cabero tries to float it, won't go. Apajang looking in for Lyman. Simmons somehow able to get it despite the attempted double team and Lyman able to score again at the rim. Send to the corner. Timmy having to deal with the pressure D. Gets it back up. A drive. I'll tell you, we talked about the floor general of Tyrese Lacey. His week one, so effective and efficient. And I love that he's just kind of running the show, recognizes when his team needs him to step up. Is that last touch by Katoa? And that was Tyrese coming over on the help D, getting the deflection, and off the thigh of RSL. Timeout. We'll step aside. We got a good one here from Leighton Christian. It all starts with a smile. To show you care, offer a sign of love, welcome someone home. Even when we don't see each other, or share a room, even without words, smiles bring us together. Let's keep yours healthy. Stonehaven Dental. Schedule online at StonehavenDental.com. At UCCU, we'll provide you with a low-rate line of credit that makes it easy to access the equity in your home with no fees or closing costs. Simply complete an application on your phone or computer and select the low-rate option you prefer. And then sit back and enjoy the peace of mind that comes from knowing you have a low-rate line of credit. Ready for whatever life throws at you. To learn more or start your application, visit UCCU.com or stop by any branch. Welcome back, 5.50 to go here in the first half. 22-21, RSL leading Leighton Christian Academy. Great ball game. Great venue, love being here. You can see the banners there to the left. And it's hard to tell, but just in the top left there, football, first state championship in school history. They were quick to hang the banner, rightfully so, as boy, quickly for RSL, able to score it again. And that was Junior. He started early with impressive uh, shot. He's displaying it there. And he gets a nice bucket off the inbound, extending the lead here to three. Thank you, Christian. Lacey. Boy, he shook the D there for just a moment. Able to recover, tough pull up there, left it short, Simmons taps it out. And it is Country coming up the floor. Junior gets it back. I said Country, it's, it's County, my bad. I had big Country Reeves in my mind apparently. Corner three from Katoa, too strong, Simmons there. And of course, Lyman Simmons with the put back and one, Lyman will head to the line. He's got to be nearing 10 points in this first half. Free throw was short. And we've got a whistle on the other end. My apologies, trying to deal with a technical issue, so didn't see that. It'll be RSL basketball. Pressure defense nearly forced the turnover. They say last touch there by Timmy. It'll stay here. Evans to inbound. Defense, 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 
And that pressure forcing the steal. Oh, got caught in the air. Vitor was trying, I think got caught trying to decide whether to dunk it, finish it. And how about the block by Paro? Vitor will try again. Blocked by Katoa. What a recovery there by David. His last touch by Katoa. The whole bench of RSL saying that was last touched by Leighton Christian as the officials here coming together to discuss. Boy, how about the recovery there? The future Utah Ute. And indeed, the officials say, yes, it will go back to the visitors. Well, that's why you never give up on a play. It looked like a two on none. And then stolen away and finished. I'm telling you, that Leighton Christian defense continues to just seek out any extra possession they can find. That time it was Timmy able to score three point, three point game. Worked up top, open three off the mark, and Timmy tracking it down. And they say that was touched by Katoa, who was out. Possession given to Leighton Christian, they would have had it anyway. Just over four minutes to go here in the first half. Here's Lacey, defended by Trey Evans. They get the switch off the screen. Barrow here trying to post up Trey. Trey doing a nice job there. Back out, boy, long three from Tyrese. Just missing, Katoa with the clear. And to quit. Working away from the screen. Gonna have a foul here instead. No bucket there is the whistle here called on Timmy. And at the fifth team foul on Leighton Christian. Each side with five, only one to give for each end. Substitutions, Marco Taft coming on for RSL. And indeed, Atesh will come back on the floor here for LCA. Trey was looking to get it back to Simmons, trying to establish himself in the block. Katoa. Gonna get back, Simmons trying to battle with Otavio. And we've got a whistle here on the floor. And this is gonna be away from the ball, actually. Thought he might have pointed as though it was on Otavio, but instead, no, it is on Cabero, his first. And that is the last team foul to give. Inbounded for Katoa and deflected, but RSL able to keep it. Taft working to the corner, Trey. Off the mark, batted around, Simmons, of course. The basketball has found Lyman Simmons time and time again. Three to go. Barrow had it stripped away, kept here by the Eagles. Lacey backing it out. Lacey, tough drive, and just strong off the window. Man to quit. Katoa, good work to get it to Simmons. Help coming defensively. Lyman again. And one for Lyman Simmons as he'll head back to the line. And how about you work to the corner, you get the entry, and then you just let the big man do what he has been taught to do. Lyman Simmons, what a beast. Down low all night. Once again. And Barrow is kind of looking around like, what is that? Tough drive, Cabero off the glass. From the corner, JJ sends out, Katoa. Yep, guess who? 
Oh, how about, no, they call it travel there. I thought they were actually going to call the offensive foul, but the travel was the call there instead. Good help defense there by Cabero. Boy, he took it hard, able to pop up as Barrow will head to the bench here. As Leighton Christian bring on the substitution. Just inside of two to go here, six-point contest. Lacey, over. Cabero, good defense there by Evans. Cabero trying to work through, and you see Taft there trying to tie it up. He'll be whistled here for the foul instead, and that'll be the last foul to give for RSL. That called on the floor, not a shooting foul. Leighton Christian will inbound baseline. Timmy back on here. Minute 35 to go. Lacey. Again, in the lane. Couldn't get it to go. Evans. Looking up the floor quickly. Here's JJ. Mandiquit. Little step back there. Brought the defense over. Taft. Nice pump there. And Taft able to get it off the bounce. First field goal of the night for Marco Taft. The 6'3 junior in the scoring column for the Griffins. Coach Evans cheering on the defensive effort. Approaching one to go, and we'll get a foul here on the drive there of Timmy. And that being the seventh team foul, be one and one free throws here for the six foot junior guard. Vitor coming back on here for LCA. Cabero will get a breather here. One and one. Front and no. Simmons with the board, but gave it up. Tough shot. And it'll stay here. As Simmons does a nice job of staying vertical, but Coach Evans there frustrated they gave the basketball away. Not the first time tonight we've seen that in the backcourt for RSL. And yeah, offensive foul there. You can see that screen never really set. And RSL will get the basketball back here, 50 seconds to go. Off the offensive foul. Evans, terminating. Look into the angle, tracked down by Mandiquit, back to Trey. Corner, David, driving, baseline, Katoa met in the air, drawing the whistle. Katoa will head to the line here for RSL. Two free throws here for Katoa as the first good. Chance to make it a 10 point lead. Cabero coming back on the floor here for LCA. And it is a 10 point lead. Shot clock turned off here. Lacey sends to the corner. Three on the way, too strong. Rebounded by JJ up ahead to Katoa. And David able to finish off the glass. Final seconds here of the first half. Otavio looking for help, gets it to Cabero. Three seconds on the clock, gotta do something with it. Isaac forcing the shot up and strong. And the first half comes to a close, a big second quarter for RSL, a 
to eight advantage as they take a 12 point lead into the locker rooms at the break. You're watching KSL Sports Rewind's Game of the Week, presented by Heidemann Associates and brought to you by Western Governors University. Mountain Land Power Equipment provides exceptional service and high quality brands you know and trust in lawn, landscaping, and snow removal products. Our experienced staff of technicians prepare all types of snow plows, snow blowers, lawnmowers, small engines, and is trained to answer questions about lawn, garden, snow removal, and landscaping products. Mountain Land Power Equipment, now with two locations to serve you in Salt Lake City and Springville. Welcome back to Layton Christian Academy, start of the second half. Dane Stewart with you, RSL. What a second quarter it was for the Griffins as they've expanded the lead here to 12. Been an impressive showing for the Griffins. Was talking with Coach Evans before the game. He said, you are going to love J.J. Mandiqua, and he has been great tonight, but it's really been Lyman Simmons who's been the main guy in the post and at the line as a good start for Leighton Christian. They get a quick bucket, and that's the thing with Coach Porter. Does such a great job as that one, they say, deflected. It'll stay here. But you know that coming out of the locker room, this LCA group, they're going to be kind of ready to go, refocused, rejuvenated, and love to see that start in this third quarter as the inbound here to County. Evans trying to find Simmons, just missed it. Barrow was looking for the steal and pays for it as JJ able to keep possession there and Mandiquit hitting the three. Last touched here by RSL. LCA thrown in here to Lacey, working off that screen. Nice handoff and blocked away by Katoa. Man, what a rejection by David Katoa. Lobbed in for Barrow. Solomain had that knocked away, fouled in the process there. I think Junior here whistled. LCA to inbound. Here's Solomain. Kicks to the corner. Three from Otavio. Yes. Otavio Armani able to hit the three. Big bucket there for LCA as they're trying to stay within striking distance here. He's a start on the defensive end. RSL has been so efficient offensively. Mandiquit just able to stay down. They get the entry here to Lyman. Help coming over. Simmons trying to kick that out and throws it away. Backcourt violation here on RSL. And that's a great start there for Leighton Christian. You talk about starting on the defensive end. You get the help defense, an errant pass. You just need a couple of those stops. And now execute on the offensive end. And you're right back in this thing. There's Cabero. He's been a driving machine today, almost like a BMW. It's a joke. Cabero, he'll try for three. Too strong. Barrow with the board. Solomain looking to kick out. Skip over. Three from Otavio. Again, Armani. In the lane, Evans able to score it. And a quick whistle timeout here taken by RSL. Timeout, Griffins will be back. Other universities didn't fit into my life. They said I'd have to quit my job to go to school. They said it would take me four years to graduate. They said I have to take tests when they tell me to. They said my degree would cost a fortune. But I didn't have to listen to them because I have a university that listens to me. Tests on your time. Courses on your time. Graduate on your time. WGU, the University of You. Welcome back. 42-33. The advantage for the visiting Griffins of RSL. 
How about the second half for Otavio Armani, the 6'5 junior, able to hit a couple of trays. Been pivotal in keeping the Eagles within striking distance. See what more they can do here. The defense really has been good today. It's been mainly, I don't want to say an issue, but the interior where Lyman Simmons has just taken advantage. And how about the drive there by Lacey? Tyrese once again proving his aptness in the lane. Man to quit. Working over with Evans. Seven point contest. Closest has been since about the midway point of quarter number two. Katoa works to Apith Jang. Back to Evans. Trey. Good movement without the basketball. And Evans able to get the finish at the rim. Lacey handing off. Great vision there by Tyrese. And the bucket to Timmy. Kind of the pace we saw back in the first quarter for both sides. Evans in the block, tries to send out. No, he walked with it. Turned over here by Evans in the post. Here's Lacey going to work away from the screen. Had a bit of a window, lobs it up, won't go, batted out, captured. Mandiquit sends over Katoa, the three, David Katoa, hitting the three for RSL. That ball kind of got caught up, Barrow finding it, Solomain going up, blocked away, but a whistle here instead. A foul will be called on Simmons, and it will be Solomain here heading to the line. <laughs> Coach Evans, more than just coaching his team, coaching the officials here a little bit, eh? Love Coach Evans. Had a great chat with him before the game. Always good to see. And uh, loves the way he runs his program, coaches his side. And look, same with Bobby Porter. We talked about it, saw him over the summer and said, Bobby, I, I heard the rumor retiring after this year. He said, Yes, it's. I think 42 years, if I saw correctly, maybe just 41 regardless. Boy, he's been on the bench a long time. And what he's done here, Leighton Christian, been really, really special. Going to miss a, a great man, a great basketball mind here at Leighton Christian Academy. Is that one thrown away? Ahead for Barrow, Solomain off the window on the break. Turnover converted into points back to seven. Coach Bobby Porter trying to end his illustrious career here at LCA with a big final year is that one by Evans won't go and Leighton Christian on the run again. Skipped over, captured by Cabero. Cabero driving, nope, and they're going to call an offensive foul here. And uh, Coach Porter was asking for a bit of a clarification. Official saying kind of led with that forearm there. Defense again. And a bucket again. It's Timmy with another steal and bucket. And the lead is cut to five. And you start to feel a little momentum building. There's a whistle called here on the pressure. We talked about the students here from LCA. Uh, they were cheering there as Cabrera there called for the foul. He kind of recognized, yeah, I, I know, got three, I'm good. Inbounded here to the corner. Apith Jang tried to hand that off to Simmons. Last touch there by LCA. And a substitution. Is Cabrera going to come off? Again, having picked up his third, and Vitor Sicaria coming on. Sicaria, my, my apologies. Three and a half to go here in the third. And now we've got a uh, check here. Need a towel. A little bit of cleanup to do. 
telling you, if you haven't been to a game at LCA, come out. Come out this year. Coach Bobby Porter, talk about great job, great career here. But, man, it's such a special venue. We love coming to LCA, love our friends here. Want to thank Jared Miller, the whole athletic department, staff, always so great to us here at uh, KSL Sports Rewind. Appreciate their accommodations tonight. It's a great venue. You can see there's no better shot here than what we have for you tonight at LCA. And privilege to be here. Is that mess taken care of there? As we get ready to inbound here with the Academy, RSL. Man to quit. Worked over with Katoa, David. Trying to work back, good defense. They send out Simmons, a little pump fake. We'll hand it, Mandiquit the three as that shot clock was inside of five and JJ able to hit another three. Big time game from JJ Mandiquit. Octavio to answer, yes. The Armani suit looking sharp tonight for Octavio. Three triples for Armani. Now being called on the defensive end. And a foul here as the help came and whistled here on the closeout by Timmy. And they're actually going to give it here to Otavio instead. Armani picking up the foul. That'll be the third team foul on Leighton Christian here in this second half. And the first personal on Otavio. Apajang, fade away. Won't go. Simmons the board. Looking inside, and that was too hot for Katoa, and they lost it out. Leighton Christian basketball, and the Eagles can pull back to within one possession. Substitution here for RSL as Jose will come on. Also brought on number 30. I don't have a 30 on our roster, so my apologies on that name. Boy, tough pull up. Good close out there, and a nice save is... Here's Lacey with it in the corner. Looking inside, off the window, Armani once again. And it is a one possession lead now. It was a 13 point game early in the quarter. Leighton Christian just been reeling them in. Drive from Mandiquit. And the foul here called on Armani. Got called on the reach there. You could see him come across the wrist. We'll stop the clock here with two to go in the third. Free throws coming up here for the, so the 6 2 sophomore. J.J. Mandiquit. Talk about a finalist for Team USA. First time we've seen J.J. this year, obviously, as he hits the first free throw, but he has just done everything for RSL. He's going to be a big-time player here in the state of Utah. As Barra will come off here. And Philip Popovich come on. Two for two on the trip to the line. For Mandiquit. Inside of two to go here in the third. Timmy trying to work against Trey, and Evan's going to be called for the whistle. Layton Christian will have it baseline. And a timeout taken instead. Timeout, Layton Christian. It all starts with a smile. To show you care, offer a sign of love, welcome someone home. Even when we don't see each other, or share a room, even without words, smiles bring us together. Let's keep yours healthy. Stonehaven Dental. Schedule online at StonehavenDental.com. For over 25 years, Salt Lake Running Company has helped people of all ages and levels find the gear they need to start their fitness journey. From a free custom shoe fit analysis to a premium assortment of footwear and workout essentials, SLRC is a top 10 run shop in America. Locally owned, locally operated at five locations along the Wasatch Front, SLRC is there to help you gear up and get out. Visit a store near you or shop online at slrc.com.
Welcome back. Leighton Christian basketball. Five point difference. The lob in. Otavio will hand that out. Was a tough pass to handle. Oh, how about the drive? Blocked away by o Osei. Tapped up. Here comes Katoa. Man, David Katoa, he just hung in the air on that one. Beautiful drive there for the verbaled future Utah Ute. Other end. And foul on the drive. There was Mandiquit. And our apologies there. Had the clock malfunction. We'll get that tied up. Just inside of 130 to go here in the third. And boy, you see RSL and how quickly this group can attack for Coach David Evans. When you have this kind of talent, um, you just always know you're not far away from being able to have big things happen is on the trip to the line. First free throw, good there for JJ. He's got one more. Two for two. And we've got a whistle here. Substitutions coming on for LCA. Barrow coming back on the floor, as does Atesh. Atesh across the timeline. Boy, having to float that one, the length of RSL coming over, disrupting the shot. And now we've got a carrying violation. They'll give it back to LCA. You talk about this RSL team, and look, I'm, this is maybe a bit of a, a selfish ask for Coach David Evans. This group, they, they will play outside the state. As, uh, boy, nice handoff there. Easy bucket there for Vitor. But this RSL group, they'll play outside the state. Coach, look, I love you. I love your program. You play Eagle Idaho this year. I hope you beat them 110 to 3. That was my rival growing up was Old Eagle. So, you know, go take care of business, Coach, huh, would you? Just had to get that out there. They'll play a national schedule. Leighton Christian will certainly have a difficult schedule as well, making that move up to 4A this year as an independent. But, uh, Always fun to see programs go outside the state, go represent the state as Leighton Christian here inside to Borrow. And Solomane with the flush to bring it back to within five. Final 20 seconds here of the third. Inside, handed off Evans. Boy, nice kind of work around there on the finish for Trey. Final 10 seconds. Here's Lacey, sends to the corner. Three from Vitor. Yes, Vitor hitting the three in the quarter expires. The Leighton Christian Eagles put together a big third quarter. It's a two possession game, fourth quarter. Coming up next here on KSL Sports Rewind. Start of the fourth quarter. 58-54, how about a 29-21 third quarter for Leighton Christian? Helping them get back in a contest. Had a 13 point deficit in the third. And the Eagles, we've seen that defense really get cranked up, has led to extra possessions, led to opportunities. And they've got themselves a shot here in what has been a contest has been played multiple times and been a good one tonight. As you hear the students here, Leighton Christian trying to cheer on their varsity squad here, and we've got a quick whistle. Mentioned that, look, RSL will play some national teams. Leighton Christian will as well. They've got a couple California teams, got some Ohio teams. Coach Bobby Porter, he's not afraid to go outside the state. That's been his repertoire over the years, and they'll have an opportunity to really help put Utah basketball on the map as Simmons here inside drawing the contact, and Lyman will work back to the line. And when you talk about how RSL really built their lead, it was this young man, number 42, the 6'10 senior, Lyman Simmons, did a lot of that work in the first half. 
early in the third quarter and felt like he didn't have a lot of looks in the back half of that third. And Leighton Christian able to take advantage. Now Simmons working to the line. He'll have two free throws here. The foul was called on the shot. It was also the seventh team foul on Leighton Christian. And Simmons makes the first, so it'll be one and one. Bonus situation for RSL for the remainder of the contest. Just three team fouls in this second half for RSL. Second free throw here for Simmons. Two for two on the trip. Six point lead. Terminated up high, needing help. Borrow with it. Handing this off. Lacey, Tyrese, Borrow looking to set the screen. The lob. Boy, it almost looked like Simmons prevented Borrow from coming inside. And how about the interception? Yes, picked off, and it's Borrow. I tell you, Vitor just roamed like a safety on that play. Able to break up the pass, gets it ahead, and Solomain able to flush it back to a four-point difference. Pressure again here from LCA and a whistle at midcourt on the defensive pressure put on there by Atesh. And back to the line will come RSL. One and one free throws coming for J.J. Mandiquit, who's been stout from the line here tonight. Again, one and one. Here for Mandiquit. Front end short, and Solomain able to corral it. Other end, and it's Tyrese on the drive, and it's a two point game. And it's stolen again. The quick hands of Vitor. Tied up and won. Vitor will head to the line for a chance to give the Eagles the lead. How about the defense of Vitor? He's had a couple of steals right in the middle of the floor. They've led to points every time, and the latest can lead to the lead. Six forty to go. Leighton Christian trailed by 13. And all the momentum on the home bench as this place almost silent. It isn't anymore. Vitor gives him a lead, comes to the bench and gets a great applause and a passionate high five from Coach Bobby Porter as it's 61-60. Pressure. Here's Simmons. Across the timeline will hand off. Evans. Baseline sends it out. That one hot to handle. Kept by RSL. Here's Mandiquit. Shot clock down to 10. JJ off the screen. Little step back here. Man. I mean, when you need a shot, I, is there anyone better? Uh, we've got a whistle here and a timeout taken. 62-61, Leighton Christian with the ball when we come back. For over 25 years, Salt Lake Running Company has helped people of all ages and levels find the gear they need to start their fitness journey. From a free custom shoe fit analysis to a premium assortment of footwear and workout essentials, SLRC is a top 10 run shop in America. Locally owned, locally operated, at five locations along the Wasatch Front. SLRC is there to help you gear up and get out. Visit a store near you or shop online at slrc.com. It all starts with a smile. To show you care, offer a sign of love, welcome someone home. Even when we don't see each other, or share a room, even without words, smiles bring us together. Let's keep yours healthy. Stonehaven Dental. Schedule online at StonehavenDental.com. Want to thank our sponsors here of KSL Sports Rewind.
Heidemann & Associates, a full-service law firm with locations throughout the state of Utah that can also meet with you virtually if you have any legal needs. They'll even talk a little basketball with you. Give them a call at 801-754-4240. I want to thank Heidemann & Associates for their sponsorship of KSL Sports Rewind. Tyrese Lacey. Been great on the drive. In the paint again. Lead back to the Eagles. Boy, that high pick and roll. And you get that defense running away. Lacey, he's going to finish that eight times out of ten as they work inside. County had it. Got caught in the middle of the air. Batted around. Katoa with it. David, tough shot. Won't go. Simmons the board. And foul here. We'll send Lyman Simmons to the line here, I believe, for one and one. This is the last one and one opportunity here for RSL. As that was the ninth team foul. So one and one here for Simmons, and every trip after this will be double bonus for the Griffins. Front end of the one and one. Rattled out. Boy, and Simmons, to talk about the big game for him tonight, misses that free throw. No points on the possession. Sent over. Boy, tough baseline work there. Good defensive positioning there by County. Here's Lacey. Help defense there. Sends to the corner. Three on the way. Off the front of the rim and gathered. Katoa nearly had it taken away there by Timmy. But RSL able to maintain it. Five minutes to go here in regulation. Worked over. County back up with Trey. Man to quit. Help coming over. JJ, telling you, man, that kid. So impressed with him tonight. Does not play like a youngster. How about carrying violation again? That's the third carry we've had called tonight. Had one each way. That now the second on Linton Christian. Or the second carrying violation called on LCA tonight. Here is Mandiquit. Just a sophomore. Boy, nearly slipped. And he gives it up. On the other end, Cabero with the bucket. Again, defense leading to offense for LCA as we quickly approach the midway point here of the fourth. Evans gives it to Simmons. Katoa, boy, close out there by Solomon, and he's going to be called for the foul. The bench doesn't like it. The student section doesn't like it. Love the hard closeout there by Barrow. And I'm guessing the officials just called that late body contact after Katoa had kind of come down or made the decision to not shoot. But I can understand the, uh, the objection. Barrow had a bit of a laugh there with the official. Two free throws here for David Katoa. And free throws not going the way here of RSL in this fourth quarter. Barrow going to have to come off. That was his fourth personal. Katoa goes one of two. We're tied up at 65. Otavio. Worked inside, couldn't even go, boy. He got hit high. He's on the floor right now. They're going to stop it and take a look here at Armani. RSL came down with the board. and Boy, he's trying to 
get looked at. They've got people coming over to help him as he's going to work his way off. Boy, that's a big piece for Leighton Christian. Certainly hope he's okay. He shot the ball extremely well tonight. Certainly hope, even beyond the game, Armani's okay. Just never know when you get those shots up high as he's exited the gym. And it'll be RSL basketball. Evans pushing it up the floor. Pump fake there. Mandy Quick got his man in the air. That batted away and a whistle here. Another foul going to be called on Leighton Christian. Boy, and Tyrese Lacey was off to the races. Instead, it'll be two free throws here for J.J. Mandiquit, but those will come after a timeout. Timeout, Coach Bobby Porter. He's wanted to have a conversation. I think I know what this is about. Timeout. We'll be back after this. Mountain Land Power Equipment provides exceptional service and high-quality brands you know and trust in lawn, landscaping, and snow removal products. Our experienced staff of technicians repair all types of snow plows, snow blowers, lawn mowers, small engines, and is trained to answer questions about lawn, garden, snow removal, and landscaping products. Mountain Land Power Equipment, now with two locations to serve you in Salt Lake City and Springville. At UCCU, we'll provide you with a low rate line of credit that makes it easy to access the equity in your home with no fees or closing costs. Simply complete an application on your phone or computer and select the low rate option you prefer. And then sit back and enjoy the peace of mind that comes from knowing you have a low rate line of credit. Ready for whatever life throws at you. To learn more or start your application, visit uccu.com or stop by any branch. Welcome back. Two coaches that, boy, we love both of them. I have time to be around both of them and covered their programs for a long time. Coach Porter, he called that timeout, and, and immediately he's calling the official over, and you see him give the indication, look at the team fouls up there. Just, just FYI. It, it's 10 to 4, and they've been sitting at 10 for a while now. We'll see if that leads to benefits on the other end. His first free throw here for J.J. is good. That will give the lead back here to RSL. One more to come here for Mandiquit. Second free throw. Two for two on the trip. Timmy. Working to drive. Boy, Chandy, give that back. Had the double team and ended up giving it away. Here's Evans blocked away. Staying with it, won't go. Tapped out, and Timmy comes away with it for LCA. Still have not seen Otavio back on the bench for LCA. And a whistle here. There you go. Talked about, expected uh, some return coming this way for LCA as Barrow getting ready to come on the floor here. That the fifth team foul on RSL. Here's Lacey. Inside of three to go. Lacey, a little step back three, won't go, and Katoa with the board. Boy, quick look there for LCA. Evans being guarded by Vitor. Vitor now off the switch will deal with Mandy Quick. Shot clock down to 10. JJ looking to drive. Good defense there. And traveling violation. Vator, we talked about he was locked in, had the switch, stayed with his man, and forces the turnover. Oh, 
Leighton Christian basketball. Back on the bench. Now is Otavio. He's got a bandage inside, and they lost. Timmy, and he ties it up. Timmy now defending Evans. And a whistle here called on Tyrese. And it will send JJ back to the line. One forty-seven to go, two free throws for JJ Mandiquit looking to put RSL back on top. And we've got a quick whistle here that will not count. Boy, confusion. Coach Porter looked like he wanted a free throw or wanted a timeout. And then we had miscommunication and the officials say, no, we're shooting free throws. So uh, first free throw there for Mandiquit, good. And now he's checking, do you want a timeout? Coach Porter says, yes, I do. Smiles on everyone's faces. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back. Other universities didn't fit into my life. They said I'd have to quit my job to go to school. They said it would take me four years to graduate. They said I have to take tests when they tell me to. They said my degree would cost a fortune. But I didn't have to listen to them. Because I have a university that listens to me. Tests on your time. Courses on your time. Graduate on your time. WGU, the university of you. For over 25 years, Salt Lake Running Company has helped people of all ages and levels find the gear they need to start their fitness journey. From a free custom shoe fit analysis to a premium assortment of footwear and workout essentials, SLRC is a top 10 run shop in America. Locally owned, locally operated at five locations along the Wasatch Front. SLRC is there to help you gear up and get out. Visit a store near you or shop online at slrc.com. Welcome back, 147 left. One more free throw coming up here for JJ Mandiquit. Been solid. Otavio back on the floor here for LCA. Wearing that bandage, he's got it now. Defended by Mandiquit, long three. Barrow with the board, off the window, tying it up. Well, that feels like a tough shot to take for Otavio, having just had that bandage on your head and trying to get back on the floor. That's a long three, and Barrow there to get the offensive board and the bucket for LCA. We're tied up here once again. Here's Mandiquit. He's got to be the guy. He has been for RSL. Pull up here from 12. Too strong, and the rebound finds its way to Lacey. Tyrese up the floor. One minute to go here in regulation. Was a 13-point difference in the third quarter for RSL and LCA with a chance here in the final minute. They've had the lead here in the fourth, but they've got a chance to get a big-time win. The floater won't go, and the rebound taken away by Simmons. Here's Mandiquit. The other way for RSL laying it in. Two more for JJ Mandiquit to give a two point lead. Inside, hesitation, and Simmons with the block. Otavio for the lead. Won't go, and Evans with the rebound. And the foul given here. They had to give it as the shot clock was off. Simmons coming up with a big board. The bench loved it. Coach Evans loved it, and we'll head down and get free throws here for RSL. And Coach Porter called for a timeout. He'll get it. Timeout, LCA. We'll be back with the final 25 seconds after this. Welcome back. Two free throws for J.J. Mandiquit. 
First one good. One more. Two possession lead. Up the floor quickly, Barra will lay it in. And a timeout taken by LCA. 73-71, this one not over yet. Other universities didn't fit into my life. They said I'd have to quit my job to go to school. They said it would take me four years to graduate. They said I have to take tests when they tell me to. They said my degree would cost a fortune. But I didn't have to listen to them. Because I have a university that listens to me. Tests on your time. Courses on your time. Graduate on your time. WGU, the University of U. Welcome back. 73-71, Coach Evans. I think had some words for his defense there. As LCA able to get back to within two. We've seen that defense create some issues for RSL tonight, can they get one more turnover when they need it the most? Here's Mandiquit. He's been the guy to try to put this away. Gets around the pressure of Tyrese and fouled here. JJ Mandiquit will head back to the line. Special, special player. And he's been clutch in key moments. He's got the opportunity here to essentially put this one away. Two free throws for J.J. Mandiquit. The sophomore steps up, makes the first, has one more. Boy, and he looks like he has left it all on the floor tonight. You saw a big, exhaustive gasp come out of Mandiquit. No wonder. He's got to be nearing 30 points tonight. He goes two for two. And the final 10 seconds on the floor. Otavio looking to hand off. Barrow will hit it. And that will do it. They don't have to invent. They stopped the clock. Yeah, that should be the contest. And Coach Porter knows it. There is no stopping the clock after a made bucket. Coach Porter knew it. And that'll do it. 75-73 in an anticlimactic final three seconds. It doesn't matter. RSL will take the victory here on the road. Had a big lead. Tip, tip of the cap to LCA. They clawed back in this game. Big game for Otavio Armani. Helped that comeback. Love what we saw from Tyrese Lacey. The defensive pressure of LCA is no joke. Going to be a fun group to watch in Coach Porter's last year for RSL. Impressive night on the road. You saw it here first. The sophomore, J.J. Mandiquit, a big-time game leading RSL to the 75-73 win. He is our player of the game. Congratulations to the sophomore, J.J. Mandiquit, as RSL gets the 75-73 win here on the road. For Vince Francis, my name is Jane Stewart. Thanks for joining us. We have games for you every night this week right here on KSL Sports Rewind. No one does it better. Follow your favorite basketball team all year long right here on KSL Sports Dot com. Good night, everybody, and we'll see you next time for KSL Sports Rewind's Game of